Hello, my name is Fumiko Ishii. I teach Japanese at Irvine Valley College, and I'm going to demonstrate you how to wear kimono and how to put this obi called Nagoya obi. Nagoya obi is a shorter obi, and it's about 3.6 meters or so. Today, I picked this solid color kimono and a yellow, and this obi is the picture of peony, which is the summer, uh, summer uh, flowers. So let me put this on first, and then the obi to tie it whole thing together. This is the top, the color. You fold it in half and put it through the sleeve, making sure the undergarment sleeve will go inside. And so it's this portion. And this is one of the very important part of it, to make the edge of color matches the undergarment called nagajuban. And to make it stabilize, I put the clip. Now, I am going to tuck it in to the length that I can wear. Long time ago, I'm sure you have seen some of those pictures of aristocrat ladies wearing a long, long layered kimonos. And she would trail those kimonos around, but over the time, it, be, it was getting a little bit too impractical. You know, you can only walk so much. So over the years, things have changed to make the kimono wearing a little bit more practical and you needed to tuck in this long kimonos. And this is how you tuck it in to make sure that bottom piece is nice and flat. So I will put my hands in there to put it, pull it down. And at the same time, you do not want any crease in the back. Now, I'm going to straighten out the front portion. And I'll put this clip and belt and, and all around so the back is nice and flat pull it this way to the side now my front is okay once everything is okay the lines are lined up in the front and also the back in the middle and then everything is tacked out to the side, I will put on this half obi, it's called date obi, and tighten it one more time. There you go. So this is the preparation to tie this real obi now. Now, the, this obi, is already being prepared. This is called Nagoya Obi. I have explained it before. It's about 3.6 to 3.8 meters. Okay, I have already set it up, how to put this one on. It's preparation only takes like five minutes or so. But anyway, I used the clip to stabilize the Obi both ways. And I put this one called Obi age. It's like a little scarf. Then this portion comes in the back, and this one is called otaiko. This is the decorative part of it, and making sure that everything is in place. Now let me put this on, and I'll hold both one, both up and down, and bring it out to the back. And this is a kind of difficult portion of it and I will hold this strings, making sure that it is back high enough here. 
And let me tighten this up. I usually do this twice and bring it backward so that it will not make a knot to make it too fat around in the stomach area. Now this one is another piece that is important to tighten it. You know, a lot of strings going to the, wearing the obis. And this is the, uh, next one is obiage, which I show you with the little, like a scarf type of thing. There, I'll just tie it. I'll just put it uh, away for a time being and I'll have to set it up later on. Now, this long piece will come in the front. I'll bring it out, wrap it up to the front portion and one finger up like this so. And I will mark it over here so I will know where to go around it. And then I un unwrap it and put this one together so it will be all in one piece. And then we'll put this board called Obiita right in the front so it will look flat when I finish it. When I'm tightening it, I have to make sure, and remember there was a little clip right here in the back, right here, and I will hold this clip area and pull it together like this, so it will be nice and tight. Once it is tightened, it's the, you have to breathe in. <laughs> Once it's tightened like this, I will flip it because I've already made the taiko previously. And using this extra string, which I will take it off later on to make a mark, just so. So it looks nice and flat. So everything is in the back is in one place. And then I need to take this clip off because this portion has to go back in the back to stabilize the shape of taiko. So I go back and put, put it right here. And this one, this portion is a little tricky in between the taiko and the obi which is folded in so there will be two sides of it now i take this cord called obijime right like this and make sure that this is in the center and tighten it because this one holds the back of ta obi called taiko and this portion together, just like so. And adjust the height, not too up, like just a little bit below the center. Now, this temporary string has to come out. And now this temporary tying of the scarf has to be properly placed. So I will make sure that this one is folded nicely and put it in a proper place. I'll put it right here and this portion I want to make sure this is done properly and fold it so on the quarter things nice and straight. Fold it prop soft kind of looking thing. And 
and then this one goes in the back tuck in everything you tuck in too much especially the women who are young and wearing some colorful ones they can just show off now this is the way you tie your obis and let me take this last piece of string uh, the clip back away and here is how you wear your obi let me turn around so you can see it Thank you very much everybody for uh, watching how to tie Nagoya Obi by Fumiko Ishii at Irvine Valley College.